Today I'm going to be talking about the next design trend in 2019, which is illustration. statistics, custom-made illustration can convert seven times more than stock photography. I honestly don't believe that illustration is a new trend, but it is certainly something that I believe will carry through during 2019. The most common trend that I'm seeing with illustration this year would have to be isometrics. Isometrics is basically a formatted grid in which your elements are facing. They, they would either be facing forward, 90 degrees in the other direction, 90 degrees in the other direction and so on. So if you look at this McDonald's image over here, then you'll see that it sits across a grid and everything is kind of carrying on like that. And it's quite a nice way to keep some structure um, in, in some of the work that you're doing. I think what it, this really does make for some great content for your website where you're really working with grids and things like that and then you have this kind of structure. It's a great way to keep consistency across all of your illustration. What I'd highly recommend that if you are going to go after this or any other trend is to find an illustrator who that is already their style. They're already doing this sort of work. And the next thing is to then speak to this illustrator and actually go, hey, this is our branding. Could you combine your style and our branding? With that, you eliminate somebody going and doing something that is very round where your brand is very square. You need to find that balance between the two that people can start to see the connection between your brand and the illustration style that you choose. Another key thing is to build a great relationship with your illustrator. You don't want to go through all of this work and the, you get into a tiff with the illustrator and they bail and then you've done all this work and nobody else can replicate what they've done without it looking disjointed. So it's good to build a great relationship with an illustrator and before you invest too much know that you can work together and know that you could really extend your brand further. Some of the advantages of using illustrations is that you can scale things because they're vector based and where you can really kind of leverage this a lot is through SVG online which is scalable vector graphics and with SVG it means that everything is always going to be beautiful and crisp because it's scaling relative to the screen it's on so it doesn't matter if it's on a phone which is the starting point it's a big trend this year to be mobile first so make sure it looks beautiful and crisp on your retina display phone but at the same time on other devices like your tablet and your computer you're able to keep things looking really crisp. The extension to that is that illustration will allow you to add some animation. So by adding animation you can then go and extend your brand's personality even more and also give users a better experience because you can gesture them on to go certain ways and tell richer stories and give greater experiences. Another great thing about using illustration is this connects really deeply with iconography. The simple vector style can easily be translated into more informational graphics 
and you can kind of connect all the dots here and just have this common thread between your branding, your illustrative style, your iconography and the overall visual language of your brand. <laughs>